Hello student. Welcome to online science tutorial. Today's topic is part of the plan and its function. Today we are going to learn how plants play a vital role in our lives. They provide us food, helps to keep the air clean and our surrounding cool. Now, this is a picture of a part of a plant. The plant is divided into two main parts. The part of the plant growing above the ground or a soil is called the shoot system. It includes flower, fruit, stem and leaf. And the part of the plant growing below the soil is called the root system. It consists of fruit only. So one by one we are going to look at the function of each of the part of the plants. First we will start with root. Let's start with the root. Root is the plant that usually grows underground. But all plants do not have same type of roots. Here the roots can be classified into two main types. First tap root. A tap root is a thick root straight at the top and tapering towards the bottom. For example, apple, mango and neem tree have tap roots. Fibrous root is different from tap root. Here, instead of a single large root, several smaller roots branch out in different direction. For example, banana, wheat and onion are fibrous root. Aerial roots. Some plants have special roots. Aerial roots are the roots which grow above the ground. The roots grow downwards from the branches of the tree towards the soil. Banyan tree, for example, is the best example of aerial roots. Now, we will see the function of the root. Root fix the plant firmly to the soil, keeps plant upright, it absorbs water and mineral from the soil and takes it to different parts of the plant. Some root store food. For example, beetroot, carrot, red reddish and reddish. These are the vegetable which we eat. The stem is the upper part of the plant that bears branches, leaves, flower and fruit. The function of the stems are it provides support to the plant, transports water and mineral from the roots to the leaves. Some stems store food, for example, potato, ginger and turmeric. Leaf is also a part of a plant and are found in different shape, size and color. And its function is, they prepare food for plant in the presence of sunlight. This process is called photosynthesis. Leaves of some plant also store food. For example, mint, 
spinach and cabbage so this is the part or you could say an example of leaf which we can eat here you can see a picture of a flower now flower is a part of a plant they are called the bloom or blossom of a plant and its function is the primary purpose of a flower is reproduction now this is fruit fruits are developed from a part of a flower fruits are usually sweet to taste fruits are good for health as they provide us with vitamins and mineral and the function of fruits are it protects the seed or you could also say it acts like a protective covering to the seeds some fruits that we eat are apple tomato watermelon and strawberry now not all fruits are edible fruits like fruits may have single seeds or multiple seeds inside them now the picture here we see is of apple tomato watermelon and strawberry which have multiple seeds inside them i hope you all are clear with the parts of the plant and their function so now we will end the session with a slogan plant a tree and get oxygen for free thank you